A person needs two kinds of strength. A person needs strength to begin again. But this is not so hard. Although this is also heavenly to begin again. But then you need even more, even more heavenly strength. Really to do what you want to do to the end, not to give up in the middle. Friends, you know how many nations disappeared from the world? They had great dreams. They gave up in the middle, they disappeared. Do you know why we Jewish people are eternal? Because we never give up. We never give up. So the holiday of Purim is a holiday of not giving up. Because Haman Amalek says, yes, it's true. You begin a lot of times, and I appreciate you do a lot of good things, you have good dreams, but face it. You never end it. You know, friends, what happens to most marriages today was a beautiful wedding that didn't hold up till the end. What happens to so many young people who become a little bit more Jewish, a little bit more holy, more beautiful? Then when it comes too hard, they give up. You know, friends, Israel, how often did God open gates for us to make peace with the whole world? But then when it came too hard, a little bit we gave up. So Purim is, and this strength not to give up does not come from the tree of knowledge. It comes only from the tree of life. Deeper than knowledge, deeper than anything in the world. Friends, I can teach you logically how to begin, but how to hold out? It comes from beyond, beyond, beyond everything. So poor am I getting drunk. To empty my vessels from every knowledge, from every thought. I'm just ready to receive the highest energy from heaven to give me strength to hold out forever. And you know, friends, Yom Kippur, I ask God for forgiveness. But how does it compare to Purim? Purim, I have no time to ask for forgiveness. Because Purim is the day when God gives me strength. Whatever I began, whatever my neshama, my heart, my soul told me to do, I should keep on doing it. Don't ever give up. 